This is Lisa Zahner from VeroNews.com and I am reporting on our way back to Vero uh, about power outages and conditions and gas availability. I can tell you that most of the gas stations out by the interstate um, on Route 60 do have gas and they do have power and they are taking credit cards. Um, as you move eastward, however, we did find some um, gas stations and also restaurants closed because they did not have power. Um, we're here at the Indian River Mall. The mall reopened this morning. They were closed yesterday. And the mall has power, obviously. And um, people are out here enjoying a hot meal at the food court and the cold air conditioning, um, doing some shopping for Halloween costumes with that holiday coming up. Life goes on after the hurricane. Um, I ran into several people who stayed in their homes during Matthew and um, reported it being pretty scary and losing power late Thursday night and they're still waiting for their power to come back on. Um, <clears throat> to put things into perspective a little bit, I ran into a um, homeless man who weathered Matthew in a tent, in the tent that he lives in, and this is the third hurricane that he has gone through in his tent. He also went through Francis and Jean in the tent. Um, we had some bottled water and some supplies in the van and I offered those to him, asked him if he needed anything and he declined and said he was just fine and said it wasn't that bad. So um, anyway, we all have a lot to be thankful for and especially we have, um, we got very lucky that we only got grazed by Matthew and not a direct hit. We will continue to report on our way to the beach about conditions and power outages.